Started it like any other day, uh, got my squad car, went out to work the road. I was off. Um, I worked in the yard all day because it was unseasonably warm. And we ended up hearing that there was some severe weather and they were calling for weather spotters. And that's when we uh, did what we call a station coverage page and we paged uh, all the members to let them know something was coming and that they uh, need to come to the firehouse. So. And at that point, um, when the severe weather had started, I was heading out to 48 and the hail started. So I went over. And kind of during the tornado and for maybe the first two minutes after, it was just dead silence. It was kind of eerie, even in the firehouse. And that's when the dispatcher called and said, I have a list of calls pending. Every time that um, the radio went off, it was the tornado just hit here, the tornado just hit here. And you could hear it. I mean, it sounded like a faint train on that side of town. There were a lot of houses damaged, a lot of people that were, you know, displaced because of it, which was heartbreaking. But I mean, our city really came together and it made me know I was in the right place. Our primary engine that night was engine one. And on that engine was one of our firemen. The very first call that we got was for the house next to his house and they actually said his name. So he was out there working to find these people trapped in a house and saw his house. And he took a minute or two and then just went right back to work. Even though his whole home and his life, his life was destroyed at that period of time, he continued to go help everyone else. You had trees down, you had trees and in, in through houses and roofs and everything. We were very lucky on having no fatalities. I mean, that was in itself a complete miracle. Don't really understand how nobody died, but um, we, uh, we were just very, very lucky.